Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a room tour. Xander's room, okay. Xander's crib, welcome to Cribs. This is the only room I've ever finished completely. Well, not completely. There are a few things. It's about 90%. We love it. It's very calm and serene in here. I spend most of my time in the house in here. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to share with you guys all of the things that I got for this room, where everything is from. Of course, everything will be linked down in the description box so you don't have to worry about, you know, asking for links and nothing, because I got you. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with the baby's room. When you walk through the door, you first see this is the changing station so this is his um dresser dresser is from crate and barrel um and his grandmother bought this his lovey it's a navy blue color these bars were already up here i did this for my office i put these up here to hang my clothes but then i decided to leave it up so that he could hang his clothes on here so we've got all his little clothes most of this is like zero to three months some of it is three to six so in six to 12, so it'll go into like the fall. This Burberry jacket that my hairstylist in Atlanta got me, stylist Charlie, it's so cute. It's really big though, so it's probably won't, probably won't be able to wear this till he's like one. But yeah, so we've got some like cute Zara pieces. Most of these sweats are from Zara. Um, we got a little polo outfit here. Um, I love this little jumper. This is really cute. It's from Love Every and I hung it on here over his changing table. If you look in there, it's like black and white and that's good for developing the baby's vision. When he's laying down, he can look up and get mesmerized and be just enthralled with what he's looking at. This is a Kikaru changer. I love this changer. This was probably one of the best investments. My registry was almost complete. Nobody bought this for me, so I bought it. Um, you can just wipe it off and sanitize it and it stays fairly clean. It's also really soft and squishy. Most of this stuff is from my registry, so I'll be sure to link my registry down below if you guys wanna shop my registry. This is a Hatch sound machine. Literally is amazing. Like, it puts me to sleep. I'll be knocked out. And then um, this is a little giraffe that Landon got me for Christmas one year. And I said, when I have a baby, this giraffe will be in the room. This wipe warmer. Uh, I love wipe warmer because who wants cold wipes on their booty? Not me. Everything is light up, so I'll show y'all at night what it looks like in here. It's like the club. We've got some skincare items, you know, his little skincare routines. You know, we get some Tubby Todd ointment, some Mustela. This was great for like when he had the little baby acne. It really cleared up his baby acne, so. The drawers are all organized, labeled, and divided up by different types of things. Got everything labeled by size. Trash can, I mean, it's not really anything fancy. It's just a little trash can that I got from Tarjay and extra diapers that he can't fit because he just grew out of them. My favorite piece of furniture in the entire house. Postpartum is hard, especially in the first few weeks when you first get home and you cannot walk. You have no abs, I still have no abs. So this rocking chair saved my life. Like I slept in this chair for like two weeks because I couldn't get in and out of bed, but it's also really great for rocking baby. It is a swivel glider and it reclines fully. It's just a manual one, it's not the power one. This is a little um, pillow for like when I'm like holding him and I don't want him to fall off of me or like it helps to breastfeed too, but I don't I don't breastfeed from my boob, which we'll talk about on another day. And this one I believe is by Snuggle Me. It's a very nice pillow. This is a closet. It's still like half of an office closet and half of his closet. So we got a lot of office equipment in there. This is his love every play mat. He's learning how to use his hands you know, getting his motor skills together. So that's his hangout spot. When he does his tummy time and stuff, I put him down there. This rug is from Nestig. They have a new collection of rugs and quilts and mobiles and things like that. I love little shoes. Little shoes are my favorite. They're so impractical, but they're very cute. Uh, these are his cowboy boots he wore to his sip and see in Dallas, where my family met him. And then I also got him some little blazers. He also has some some little Air Force Ones, but he wears those a lot, so I put them in his baby bag. And then um, his little Star Wars shoes. Also, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but a lot of, you're gonna see a lot of Baby Yoda uh, everywhere because this room is very much inspired by Star Wars. It has other elements of like animals and stuff too. I didn't really want it to be super Star Wars-y. Like I wanted it to be loosely based. So I wanted to have like small little glimpses of Star Wars in the room just in case he ends up not liking Star Wars one day and looks back and like, mom, why did you do that to me? This is his little uh, 
what is this called? Like a letter sign um, for like when we do his monthly pictures. In the little window here, we have some nice curtains that I got from Amazon. They're like a linen. I wanted a linen curtain. I wanted a sage, but they're getting more olive, but it's fine. I wanted a neutral. Moving on to the reading corner. I love this little corner. It came together so nicely. The chair is like a fur. I got this chair from Six Penny. These shelves are acrylic. They're from Amazon. Pro tip, don't buy your books. Do like when you do your, your um, baby shower, bring a book instead of a card. We have a lamp that we've already had in here. Did not move, it just stayed in here from Ikea. We got this little giraffe basket that I got from Pottery Barn or West Elm? They both owned by Williams Sonoma, so it's a Williams Sonoma brand basket. And right now it just has two toys in it, but I will put more toys in there as we get them. Keeping it minimal because the less clutter, the cuter things are. While he's not crawling around and moving things, this room can stay cute. <laughs> Like this pampas, this pampas is very cute. However, he gonna be pulling on this and getting pampas all over the place. I can see it now. So I'm gonna move these out as soon as he starts crawling. I can already see the damage that's being done. Then we're moving on to the crib area. This is like the best part of the room, I think. It's the focal point. The most Star Wars-y thing in here is the sign. Uh, this sign is from Yellow Pop. Uh, it does come with a remote, so you can turn the brightness up or turn it down. During the day, I like to keep it pretty much almost off. Underneath the sign, we have uh, the little baby monitor for his crib and it's by Nanit. Somebody said it looks like it's giving Stormtrooper. It all works together, even though I didn't try. This is the crib. I got the Wave crib from Nestic. Now this is a small crib. It starts off small and then you can buy a bigger mattress and expand it to a full size crib. And then once he's a toddler, it can be a floor bed. It's in this beautiful natural wood color. We also got the mobile for it. The mobile has stars and clouds and a moon on it. Just, you know, add to the galaxy element of the room. This quilt is also from Nestic. It's like a sun and mountains. And I just like different things. I wanted to have so many different elements in this room. And I was like, you know what? Why not do all of them? Who gonna tell me not to? Who gonna stop me? This is the little lamb from, if you guys watched the first pregnancy video I did, I talked about this lamb. And then over here, we have this moon. This is from West Elm as well. And it has a remote, turn the swag on, turn the swag off. I only really turn it on at nighttime because it doesn't make sense to have a moon lit during the day. But I love the moon. I think the moon with the sign, it's really giving. In my head, when I bought these things, I was like, yes, this is gonna go crazy. And then here we have the laundry basket, which is pretty basic. I've had this laundry basket for a while, actually. I've had it for about maybe four or five years. I got it from Home Goods. That is the room, okay? Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about it. Um, but there shouldn't be, because everything's listed below. So that's it, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.